Right, Lewis, knock him dead. That was a figure of speech. Please don't kill anyone. All his life, Lewis's dream was to find the family he never knew. I know they're out there. But the funny thing about chasing dreams is that no one can do it on their own. What are you doing up here? Desperate times call for desperate measures. And the journey will always take you places you never imagined. What is this? Where are we going? To the future! So you remember he says, hey, you wanna, you know, he's showing him off the lab and he says, hey, you want to see the one I'm the most proud of? And oh, Lewis this goes, is where I'm letting him know. And it's all thanks to me. That's right. I invented it. Me, me, me. The Robinsons are a, a, a great, exciting bunch of uh, characters. Um, they, uh, I, I like to use the word freedom to describe them because I think they're very, they, they live life the way a child would live life. You do what makes you happy. If you want to wear your clothes on backwards like Wilbur's grandpa, Bud, then great, do it. If you want to teach frogs how to sing and play big band music, like Wilbur's mom, Franny, do it. Um, we also have, uh, you know, uh, Uncle Art, who is an intergalactic pizza delivery guy. He looks like a space superhero, but in fact, he delivers pizzas throughout the galaxy in a flying saucer. And why not? Wow! Lewis, meet the Robinsons. Why is your dog wearing glasses? Oh, because his insurance won't pay for contacts. Frogs? Genetically enhanced frogs. I have to find my family. We'll help you, kid. Watching adults acting like kids, um, I think it's really fun because I think we all want to be able to still do that. But sometimes, you know, we have responsibilities. We grow up, we can become adults. So you have to put some of those childlike kind of attitudes away, unfortunately. Uh, but the Robinsons weren't, haven't done that. They've retained those things. They're all, but at the same time, they're very warm and they're very real people. Uh, they're not just a bunch of lunatics running around. They have a, they have a dimension to them. They have a, a soft side to them. They have, they have a lot of love for each other and for, other, for others, you know, strangers, people that come into their house. They embrace um, guests like they were their own family. So um, they're a great, great group of characters. What a great plan. Go back in time and steal a dinosaur. Now go get that boy! Run! What's going on? Why aren't you seizing the boy? It's time. <laughs> Sounds everybody, look what's happening. The great thing about Meet the Robinsons is we were able to make our statement about our movie right from the get-go. The whole movie up on reels, the studio could then make much more, um, you, you can make better decisions when you know what the scope of the movie is going to be. You're not guessing about how it's going to end or, or what it could possibly be. You know what it is. That's the story you want to tell. And when the studio decided to green light it, they knew what the movie was going to be. And it was really exciting as a filmmaker to get to be part of that kind of experiment. And it has now since become uh, standard practice here at Disney. All, all, all movies will storyboard their movie uh, very early on, the whole entire thing, and screen that. <laughs> What the you are now under my control. I am now under your control. Don't repeat everything I say. I won't repeat everything you say. This may be harder than I thought. I haven't had this much fun in such a long time. If I had a family, I'd want them to be just like you. You have to go back to your own time. I mean, I had like Josie and the Pussycats, which, you know, them sort of standing there strumming their guitar, standing on a planet, you know, that was drawn, looked like I drew it. I mean, it, you know, this is... It, we've come so far with animation, I don't, I don't even understand it, I don't know how they do it. I, I've been involved with it for years and I'm still am amazed at, at what they're doing. Uh, and I think this is so impressive to look at, but it's also such a great story. It's like, it's sad, it's poignant, it's, 
it's a million things about like real families and real messed up families and how and how there's love still in in all of it. You know, I I just couldn't be more impressed as a viewer. <laughs> Dude, I can't take you seriously in that hat. Oh, I think my wife Lucille's baking cookies. Bake them cookies, Lucille! I've got the caffeine patch! You can stay awake for days with no side effects. Ah! Sorry. Now my slave, seize the boy! Why aren't you seizing the boy? <laughs> Oh! <laughs>